hello everybody today we are going to be working on the right bar and as you can see here this is the part that we have which is the birthday part and then we are going to be getting this image as well and then this is the image that we are going to be using for advertisements right so this is an advertisement image and then when we come here you can see that this is the online section this is where you can see the users that are online they just duplicated lists duplicated start lists right so we're going to find out how we're going to work with this thank you very much for joining again and let's just dive right into it all right so as you can see we have an empty section here so let's begin i'm gonna go into the right bar file here okay now that we are in the right bar we want to create the birthday part that i mentioned okay so what we are going to do is you're going to have first of all our wrapper let's not forget we've been having wrappers we've been having wrappers in here and then um, yeah we've been having wrappers that we've been adding our padding styling to them uh okay no okay but not for this one specifically too though you can see that for this one too we also have our wrapper here right so yeah now that we <laughs> know what we need let's just go back and then for this wrapper here let us let us add you know a class name let us add a a, a padding top let's add a padding top right and padding top is going to be 20 pixels and then for this one which is the pardon right the pardon right is also going to be what 20 pixels basically okay so now that we have this i would uh now try to build the thing that i mentioned right so now what are the things that we use we used an image and then we also use the text right and then some of the text were bold right so in order for us to do that let us just create a separate div that will contain that and then for this div we are going to add the image and then after adding the image i am going to bring the span as well and then inside the span you're going to have a bold and then inside this bold you're going to have another bold element over here or a bold tag over here now what are we going to put inside this bold tag Basically, this bull tag is going to take the username, the, the name of the user that has the birthday. So I'm going to say Henry Krenzel. Henry Krenzel. And Henry Krenzel. And I think I'm just going to give some space. Henry Krenzel and three others. Uh, so I'm going to say three others let me let me change it let me make it 52 others <laughs> all right so 52 or 50, 52 others okay have a birthday today okay and Krenzel and do others have a birthday today okay now let us go into the I'd want to go to uh, yeah so now that we have this and let's just go and look at it you can see that we've not added the image so you you can't really see the changes the big changes so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add the image but I already downloaded the image so I'll just go into my downloads really quick and then I'll just get get it from there okay so we have this gifts.png I am going to pull that go into my VS code and I'm going to drop it over here okay so now that I've been able to drop it, uh, let, let me just change this to, okay, let me just leave it at gift because it, it's pretty short and easy to import. So I'm going to import that really quick. I'm going to import birthday, birthday icon from, I'm going to import it from, let me check my mic. Okay, it works. I'm going to import the birthday icon from the assets right okay so the assets and then we are going to mention this name that's we usually do so gifts.png 
okay so over here i'm going to clean this and then i'm going to add the birthday variable that we have at the top okay so when we go and check you should see a big over there it should be here you see it very big okay okay so it's here right it's it's time for us to style it let me add the alt text just in case so i'm gonna say birthday icon okay so now let's just start styling so what am i going to do here for this div that i have here I'm, I'm first of all going to apply flex to the class name so flex then item center flex then item center right and then what else do we have you have the class name here as well and then this class name we are going to give the width of the image to be we're going to give the width of the image to be 40 pixels or the icon the width of the icon <laughs> to be 40 pixels and the height would also be what's 40 pixels as well and then we want to give it you see it has reduced the size but we, now we want to give it a margin right so that it pushes this one to the right a bit you know just to give it some space i'm going to give it a margin right of 10 pixels that should be okay so a margin right of 10 pixels here all right now that we have the 10 pixels there let us style uh span over here so i'm just gonna add like a class name over here and i'm going to say that the font should be semi bold i want to make it semi bold and then i want to add a text md you know that should be i think that should be like okay i can I, th I can check it here okay uh i'm trying to hover over it for it to appear but i don't know why it's not appearing okay but let's just continue uh so now that we have that i would want to now move on to the next thing which is uh okay let us go and look at the results first so as you can see this is what we have right now let's move on to the next thing which is we want to start working on basically the image the advertisement image that we have at the bottom here right so let us let's just start working on that then after the advertisement image we work we work on the online friends that we have here right so let's just start working on that i'm going to quickly go into my vs code and then over here i'm going to come down here and i'm going to say image right and then this image i'm going to import the advertisement image i already downloaded it it's my download so i'm going to go to the downloads mm -hmm. i'm going to pull this pixel image that i got and i'm going to bring it inside my vs code here uh it has to uh let me bring it back mm. okay so i'm gonna drop it in here then i'll rename it let me rename it to add okay then i would go back to my right bar and then i'll import it right so what i can do is just copy and paste this and then i'll say add image add image and then i'm just going to say add jpeg right and then over here i'm just going to add the variable up there so i'll say what add image so i'll say add image over here okay so now that i have that set up i would want to add the alt the alternate section here the add vet image okay then that should be it now we can now work on the other ones so after we've been able to add this image what we want to do is we would want to come down and also uh, add this class name to it so that we can style it to us to our liking let me bring this below I want to format it. okay so been able to format it then let us make sure that the width is 100 percent so width full and then we are going to make it rounded large right that is border radius and then we are going to give it like a margin top and 
we are going to give it a margin top and margin bottom right just that so the margin top is going to be 30 pixels and then the margin bottom is going to be 30 pixels as well it's going to be 30 pixels as well okay so now that we have this I would want to come down and then give my h1 and my h1 here I'm going to say online okay then this okay let's look at the image first as you can see this is what we have right this is what we have as the image you can see the rounded sides you can see the rounded sides and then you can see that the width is filling this whole div right you can see the margin top and the margin bottom that is giving here all right so now let us work on the online section now that this now that we have this online section the h1 here we want to make sure that it's bold because this is tailwind and tailwind basically cleans out all the css stylings so let us make sure it's bold so over here what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to make sure i'm giving it a font bold right and that should make it bold and then i'm going to increase the text a little bit so text lg here okay and one more thing i would want to separate it from the users that are online right so let's give it like a margin button and then this margin button is going to be what 20 pixels okay that should be it now when we look at it you can see that it's, it looks deeper than usual all right now that we've been able to set this up let us start working on the users that are online so over here i'm just going to come down here and i'm going to make a list so a ul li okay and then inside this list you're going to have a div that would handle a few things right so what what are we trying to do here now that we have this div let us add the profile image right so we're going to add this image and this image is basically going to have the profile image but i can like, just import it from here by putting the cursor on this line and then i'll press ctrl c to copy what is on that line then i would come to my right bar up here and then i'll just paste that so i'll just copy this profile pic variable that we have here and then i can just paste now the reason why i'm able to do that the reason why i'm able to do that is because it's the same path you know it's it's just the same path dot dot slash dot dot then get assets that uh, it's the same path inside this whole folder right that's why i'm able to just transfer the import statement like that so when you transport an import statement that is outside the components folder maybe it's inside maybe extra component i don't know whatever the name you want to give inside your extra folder you'd want to change the path again to fit where this image is located right so let's just get back to it now that we have this image in here i'm going to add what the profile picture alt profile picture alt now that i've been able to add this we want to now we want to now work on the okay this works we want to now work on we want to now work on the uh, other things which is this uh, the icon that is going to show that you are online so that's your online badge right so how do we work on that I'm going to create like a span over here and then for this span I'm not going to write anything inside I'm just gonna add a class name that is going to represent it right so let's not add it yet let's not add that class name yet let us go back to the project and look at the picture see how things are going over here now the picture is not going to appear appealing it's not going to appear appealing so uh, I don't know for some reason that particular picture when I use it inside this project it doesn't look good at the beginning until I actually style it okay looks like you're facing some problems here we should see the image We should see the image uh, wondering what is wrong wondering what is wrong um, okay I'm going to I'm going to try to write something here to verify if the image is there okay yeah so the image is actually there so all I have to do is style it right so I am going to go into this image and then I'll give it some class names right so basically I'm going to say that this the width of this image 
should be what 40 pixels should be 40 pixels then we give it a height of 40 pixels as well give it a height of 40 pixels as well then after giving it that we want to give it a few extra things which is what we want to make sure it's object with cover object cover then we make sure that it's rounded full okay so yeah so basically we can go and check on the image we can check on the image right here you can see that it's showing here okay with the stylings here right now we're going to go back into the code and then i'm going to clean out this section uh, because i'm not going to write anything in there but now that we have the image in there let us just start start to style a few things right we have the image we have the online span spam over here but span over here but we want to add the username right so i'm going to add another span here and i'm going to write a, a random user's name so i'm going to say something like emmanuel so emmanuel button okay emmanuel button here and then what else am i going to do i'm going to have my i'm going to make sure that it's bold actually so i'm going to add like a class name of font bold here and then when we check on it you should see that it's pulled over here but now let's just work on the arrangement of these items here i'm going to first of all go into the ul and then i'm going to add a class name of margin zero padding zero and then i would work uh, if if i was using normal css i would have to do my words my list none but since still we already takes care of that for us there's no need to add it then i'll come into the li section here and then i'm going to add a class name now what is the class name that i'm going to add i'm going to make sure that we have flex again then i do my item center right then i make sure that it has a, a bottom a, a, a margin bottom right and then the margin bottom is basically going to be 10 pixels but why are we adding a margin bottom we're adding a margin bottom so that in case there are multiple users that are online it, it just separates it so you realize that there will be this small space that is under here so you mono button space mono button yeah and the reason why we also made sure that the ul we reduced we removed the padding and the margin is because ul the ul element or basically the lists elements basically come with their own margins and padding so you just have to clean them up and then everything should be okay all right so now that we have that working for us what do we want to do i want to make sure that i am working on this one as well so here i'm going to add my class name here this is basically going to be the div that is containing the image and then the I the online badge right so for this div here I'm gonna add a margin right I'm gonna add a margin right of 10 pixels margin right of 10 pixels and then I'm gonna say relative okay so that this icon this online badge becomes relative to this right Be yeah becomes absolute but falls on this right this image or this div basically so what is going to happen is now that we've been able to work on that i'm going to come straight into this span and we we'll start styling it right so first i'm going to give it a width of what 12 pixels i'm going to give it a width of 12 pixels I'm going to give it a height of 12 pixels 12 pixels and then i'm going to give it I'm going to give it a rounded full rounded full yeah and then I'm gonna give it a background of green and then this green I'm gonna use 500 right then we make sure that it's absolute absolute and then right so for the absolute so after the absolute we're going to make sure that we have the top which is what minus 12 pixels here minus two pixels actually minus two pixels then we have what the right zero and then we have the border which is going to be what two pixels as well and then finally we have what border white okay yeah border white so when we go back to check on the project you should see this one there 
if I go back into the project and I copy this list here and then just duplicate it you should see that they should be arranged with their bottom bo with their margin bottom as I explained before so as you can see yes you can see the spaces and they are there as we expect them to be thank you very much for getting to the end of the video I would be working on work they're using dummy data you know trying to look through these ones inside the project so that it makes it ma very easy for us to use our APIs in case you are working with the in case you are joining the back end and the front end together right so thank you very much for joining and thank you very much for getting to this part of the video hopefully i'll see you in the next one